Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and it is already the month of love. It's Valentine's Day that is around the corner and I wanted to show you a quick makeup tutorial. Well, when I say quick, I'm going to try to make it quick and simple and easy for you. The kind of eyeshadow that I have gone for is not one of those, you know, typical me kind of eyeshadow with the pinky tones. I have gone a little berry red on my eyeshadow and I've gone for a very bold berry lip at the same time. I want it to be a little, little extra and dramatic for Valentine's Day. I wanted a smoky eyes to subscribe to my channel and do say hi to me on all my social media platform that is Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Facebook and Twitter as well. I already applied my foundation because I was testing out the Silly Sponge which is a video I mean you can go and check it out and you can see exactly how I applied my main base my foundation with the Silly Sponge the silicone sponge. I've done a whole review on that. So I am starting off post the foundation routine. I have applied my foundation powder which is from Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Pro and I think I'm in the color Toffee. Uh, yeah, Toffee 19. For that I'm going to just apply a bit of my powder underneath my eye so that if there's any fallout this will catch it for sure. I'm going to start off my makeup by you know using my favorite uh, eyeshadow palette this is the modern renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills guys bomb bomb is not the word I'm going to apply a sticky tape right over here I'm going to start off with burnt orange Now with the 506 brush from Morphe, it's a tapered brush called Venetian Red and I'll apply that all over the crease. And because of the tape, you can just like, you know, push it forward. Don't be afraid to be a little extra with your red eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take the first brush and I'm just going to blend that so there is no harsh lines. I'm going to take a little bit of my concealer and I am just going to clean out the crease line so that you know uh, the edges just stand out. Usually with this, a small little, you know, angle brush works better for you to get that proper cut crease. Can you see, it's now given me a very plain canvas out here for me to apply another eyeshadow. So I'm quite happy with this. I'm going to let that dry down. I apply this beautiful shimmery shade, pretty shade called Primavera on the center of my eyelids. That's the best thing about these eyeshadows. They are so pigmented. Okay, now I'm just going to, <clears throat> on the corner of my eyes, just put a little bit of a black eyeshadow. And I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Black Truffle Eyeshadow. It is not the best pigmented black eyeshadow. There are better ones out there, but you know, that's the one that I can reach out for right now. I'm going to take the same tapered brush. And I am just going to give myself a little bit more of a definition right here. I'm going to take that same red eyeshadow from the Anastasia one and I'm just going to, you know, just intensify the red. I'm going to apply a little bit of the red on the inner corner of my eye.
I'm applying my wing liner and I'm taking the NYX matte liquid liner in black and I'm just going to apply it from the inner corner to the mid okay now I'm taking the NYX vivid fire it's a you know very bright red pinky toned eyeliner if you're not able to get this remember you can put your liquid lipstick as well many a times I have put my liquid lipsticks whenever I wanted those vibrant colors and they last much better than an eyeliner so since I have this I'm just applying that I'm just joining this in the mid area of my black eyeliner to give it like almost like an ombre effect. And I'm going to intensify the eyeliner. going to apply my artificial lashes and I shall be back if you don't know how to apply lashes then just click the link right here I have shown you exactly how to apply lashes just get with the program do my eyebrows lashes and I'll be right back and now I'm just going to smoke out that waterline guys do check out those uh, you know top eyeshadows that are my favorites and that if you're beginning in makeup or you know you're women of color these are the eyeshadows that will really pop on your skin color I'm using the number 37 from Kiko uh, this is the eyeshadow stick and it's got a little bit of a red undertone to it I'm going to put a black eye pencil and I'm using this eye pencil called miss and Mrs. and pretty pretty uh, pigmented for sure my eyes I'm just going to take a little bit of the Huda Beauty moon dust eyeshadow and on my brow bone now for the rest of my face I'm just going to slightly bronze and contour I'm using my NYX electro blush and I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks I'm just going to apply a little bit of my highlighter right on the center of my nose and on the side of my cheeks and on my cupid bow. I'm going to apply the Kiko Smart Lip Pencil in 708 and I'm going to gently outline my lip. I'm going to apply Stella Aria. It's a beautiful dark berry shade. For that, I'm just going to apply my Sephora just to give it a little bit of a dimension in the center. And guys, this completes the very berry red eyeshadow look with a berry lip. Something a little different and a little darker for Valentine's Day. I hope that you really enjoyed this tutorial. And for more such videos and for more reviews and fashion related videos, cooking and travel, do stick to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon in my next video. Until later, bye for now and happy Valentine's Day.